Hello everybody, welcome to the Bales Hay Farm and Ranch YouTube channel. Yes, my last name is Bales. Yes, we bale hay. And no, we didn't change our name. Don't ask. Back at the in-laws dairy, my father-in-law called, said he had some big bales that only tested like 170, so the dairy doesn't want it. He said, come look at it. I said, all right. So I'm here now, we're gonna look at it. He's actually right in front of me, right there. We're gonna go look at the hay. Well, here's the hay we're looking at real quick. <laughs> looks, looks like big bales, so all right. Well, we did it. Time to leave, just kidding. We're gonna go look at it closer. It got a hair on the dry side, but not terrible, not bad. Uh, that's probably the reason it didn't test like they want. You see, it's got quite a bit of stem showing. But this will work great for me, it'll work great for my customers, so we're gonna take it. There's only two loads, so not a big deal. Headed to pick up Henry. He's gonna see some relatives of his and play with some goats and look at tractors. Run, Henry, run. Go, go, get her, get her. Donkey. 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 Where is it? Why won't he come over here? Well, come on. The kids want to see you. Come on. What do you girls think of the animals? Good. You like them? Yeah. Hi. Henry likes the goats. He does like the goats, doesn't he? Yeah. And he remember he likes the butt. I know, he keeps putting the hay on him. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Pet him. What are you doing? <laughs> Looking at the animals. That crazy guy. He's trying to get it in there. Yeah, he sure is. He wants it. Well, Henry got his playtime in with his little cousins in the animals. I gotta take Henry back to Nana so I can get back to work. We gotta get stuff done, huh? I wish he could stay with me all day, but that's difficult. One of my jobs that's actually very important out here is keeping the barn where we sell hay by the bale full of hay. Uh, after being gone for a couple days and not paying much attention, I've noticed that it's getting pretty low. There's three rows right here that are pretty empty. Another two rows five rows that row is pretty low Bermuda six those are whoa, not terribly low six uh, that one's okay those two are okay I need to set some hay down from the barn for the retriever truck the stack retriever so we can start hauling it over I also have a lot of cleanup to do See all those little short stacks? Kind of odd size. That's a normal one, that's an odd size several. There are several more there. And here. I gotta clean them up because no one else is gonna do it. I'm spending my day today setting out hay. I already set that out to be hauled over to the, the barn where we sell it. I'm gonna set more out from another barn, a little nicer quality. And I'm gonna try to clean some hay up while I'm here. Stack it up, clean it up, um, so I can haul, when I get the retriever truck, I can haul it all at the same time. Got this uh, 
yellow hay behind me. It's the last hay from last year in this barn. I'm gonna pull it out, set it in a row, in a line, and I'm gonna pick it up with the retriever truck. It's yellow on this side. Let's go look on the other side. Not so yellow now, is it? It's actually a really nice hay. This is all from last year, 2020. Some great leaf pattern. It's a little stemmy, but it's a lot of leaf in here. Man, I love my barns. Look, this one's practically empty. You see this, this barn's actually made of, uh, the, the floor has smaller gravel. There's some big ones in it. So most of my barns, is, it's full, they're full of uh, big rocks is the base. This one is kind of a mixture, mostly small. There's some random big ones, but. Um, I like both sizes either way. The small's been nice. The big, the big is nice. Um, anyways, yeah. All right, let's pull some hay out. Real quick, if you notice, these bales are all turned and spun different ways. These are all exactly the same. They were put into a dry van. These are the top, the top rows off of, off of every stack. Um, you can haul them around like that, but they fall apart. So I've got that bottom left over from another, from an old stack. And I'll use the squeeze and put these over there on it. And then the retriever can haul it easier. I'll probably just turn a couple layers so they don't fall over, but I'll, you'll see, you'll see me doing that, but that's why. So they don't split apart. See, look, they're just always extras. A lot of hay falls down. I don't, I don't know what the other squeeze driver just doesn't know or pick them up as much. I don't know. So yeah, it comes down to me a lot of times. Got those set out. Good news is our turtle is done in the bail wagon picking up hay. We didn't bail very much last night or this morning. So he is gonna jump in one of the retrievers and I'll jump the other one. We'll get this moved twice as fast. The hay is all pulled down and set out. Pulled a bunch out. Some old junky Bermuda, some really pretty. It's almost premium alfalfa. Unfortunately, it's got some weeds in it, but uh, it's out. Some dry last year alfalfa off the edge of a barn and some uh, pretty good stuff as well so yeah time to move it pto on this lever that way that one that way it's nice having big hands so it's all the way open just tilting it back you see it in the mirror look at the mirror look at the mirror focus on the mirror focus on the mirror.
Well guys, it's the end of the day. I'm about to call and order some pizza and go home. Thanks for watching the show. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your family, and uh, keep watching. Let me know if there's something we need to do different. Thanks again.